Hello, my dear students, welcome to today's lecture on catenation. Before going to discuss catenation, we must learn about the versatile nature of carbon. The word versatile nature means, the ability of an element to form various types of compounds. There are a total of 118 elements known today. The number of carbon compounds, is more than 10 million. This number of various carbon compounds is, far more than the number of compounds of all the remaining elements taken together. So carbon is the most versatile element. The two characteristic features are seen in carbon, catenation and tetravalency. That makes carbon the most versatile element. Now, let me explain. What is catenation? The words catenation reflect the Latin root catena, that means chain. The ability of carbon atoms to link with other carbon atoms to form long chains and large rings, is called catenation. For example, in n-butane there are four carbon atoms, linked with each other to form a straight chain. The same number of carbon atoms, linked to form a ring structure, that is known as cyclobutane. So, both compounds exhibit catenation. The extraordinary compound forming ability of the element, comes from the capacity of its atoms bind to each other, not only in straight chains, but in complex branchings, like the branches of a tree. They can join in a, head-to-tail, structures to make rings of carbon atoms. Thus making it unique as there is no limit to the number of different compounds that can be formed. My dear students, the question that may come to your mind, is catenation only exhibit by carbon? Not only carbon, many other elements also exhibit the property of catenation like nitrogen, silicon and sulfur. But the catenation shown by these elements, is much weaker than carbon. Why the carbon has extraordinary ability to exhibit catenation? The extraordinary ability is, because of tetravalency. Tetra means 4, and valency is the combining ability, of an element to make bonds. Let's see, how carbon makes 4 bonds. When carbon bonds with 4 other atoms, like hydrogen and methane, each hydrogen atom shares one electron with carbon, and carbon shares one electron with each hydrogen atom. This sharing of electrons, completes the valence shell, of both carbon and hydrogen, resulting in a stable molecule. Carbon atoms can make four bonds. That's why, carbon is a tetra, valent element. This property enables, carbon atoms to make bonds with each other, to form chains, and rings. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please, consider subscribing to our channel for, more content like this.